two developments in a story we've been following closely over at the Roderick Ireland Courthouse in Springfield. Toxic mold has apparently made its way on to court case evidence. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us now live with those latest details in Springfield. Paris. Chris Jordan, the toxic mold found inside the courthouse has now been found on old evidence and old docket books. Now employees are searching for a new location to store safely that, that evidence, and they say they need action from the trial court. Laura Gentile is the Hamden County Clerk of Courts. Part of her responsibility is to keep evidence used in a previous trial safe and secure. Shortly after the, um, the mold outbreak, I went to check on the evidence. Gentile found evidence boxes covered with toxic mold. She sent Western Mass News these photos that she quickly took of evidence in old docket books. You can clearly see mold growing on the items. Obviously, that's a problem. Gentile says these items are not being used as evidence in current cases, but that doesn't mean they don't need to be kept safe and secure. If a convicted criminal chooses to appeal their sentence, this evidence may again be called into question, and the mold has already damaged that evidence. I really am concerned um, that this evidence be maintained and that the integrity of this evidence be maintained. It's already been compromised just because it's covered in mold. Gentile notified the state trial court of the issue right away. The room needs to be remediated because of the mold, but they can't move the evidence until they've decided on a secure location. You don't just take evidence and move it around. It has to follow a chain of custody. And statutorily, I'm responsible for the custody and control of that evidence. Gentile tells us she's asked the trial court to find a location that will keep this evidence secured and safe. I don't have the authority to negotiate a contract or find a location, pay for it if that's what needs to be done. I have to wait for the trial court to do that. The trial court is currently facing a lawsuit in regard to the mold inside the building. We reached out to them about the moldy evidence. They sent us a statement that reads in part, quote, the trial court is aware of the issue of mold in the Superior Court's evidence room. We have been working diligently with the clerk's office to address the issue. Preliminary work to inventory the evidence has begun and the trial court is exploring locations where the evidence can be safely stored so that the room can be remediated and cleaned. Now that lawsuit is set to be heard in court on April 27th. Reporting live in Springfield, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.